What's up guys, Takedown here and today I'm sharing with you the top 10 CDs that I own. So starting in at number 10 we have Guns N' Roses Greatest Hits. I know it's a Greatest Hits but it's one of their best albums in my opinion because it's a Greatest Hits. Probably one of my favorite rock and roll bands alongside Aerosmith which is a notable um, mention for this video. But I honestly love this album and that's what this is about, the albums as a whole. Now you got songs like Welcome to the Jungle, Sweet Child of Mine, Knocking on Heaven's Door, and November Rain. Probably some of their better songs, there's obviously more. But those are some of my favorites, so that's why it gets the 10th spot on my list. Number 9 on the list is Nirvana, Nevermind. Probably one of my favorite albums from Nirvana. Kurt Cobain is one of my favorite artists. Tragically, he uh, died years ago before I really got into them, or I think maybe before I was born. Great, great artist. Probably know his uh, one of their songs, which is Smells Like Teen Spirit, which is their, one of their top known songs. Almost every generation since has heard at least that song. And the artwork for the album is, in my opinion, spot on. It's, it's hilarious. Of course, there's other songs like Come As You Are, In Bloom, and Lithium that are on this album. And that's why it gets the ninth spot on my list. Coming in at number eight on my list, a lot of people don't like his direction, the direction this artist is going. And he released this album, I think it was December 15th of 2017. And I went and got it on, I think, the 16th. And that is Eminem's newest album, Revival. Honestly, the first time I listened to it, I didn't like it. I didn't rock with it at all. Second time listening through when you actually listen to the words and the meaning behind everything, it makes a lot more sense. Now there is a few songs, um, honestly I think there's probably only one or two songs on it I don't like. The worst one in my opinion would be Untouchable, just because it uh, touches on a lot of the Black Lives Matter in my opinion. Not a good, uh, good, good part of the album, but everything else on it, Walk on Water, uh, believe everything even castle in a rose those songs are probably the most touchiest on the album but in my opinion at the end of the day that's what this is about my opinion and that's why it gets number eight on my list coming in at number seven this is their 2013 album it is 21 pilots vessel which i believe that's either their parents or their grandparents has to be their grandparents for the cover which I think was unique. They're more of an alternative band, uh, alternative pop, which I'm more into alternative music now, uh, the Linkin Parks and such. But they have uh, Migraine, House of Gold, um, Car Radio, Semi-Automatic, which those two would probably be the top two known um, songs on this album that people like. And there's a, there's a few more. Screen is probably a, a touchy one on, on the album, and... Uh, Guns for Hands, they're, they're all pretty good. The album itself is spot on. They did a really great job. And that's why it gets number seven on my list. Coming in at number six is Green Day. Their newest album, Green Day, uh, greatest hits, God's favorite band. Album cover itself is amazing. Look at that artwork. And you got some of the artwork from some of their older CDs. Uh, albums alongside but basically I know it's the greatest hits but it's a compilation of of course their greatest hits and there's one new song which is back in the USA that is the last song on the album everything um, since the band is already in the Hall of Fame it, yes it's true everything on this album is spot on I know there's some other uh, artists that will make a greatest hits album and one or two of them aren't the greatest I find everything that's on this list right here is their greatest hits and I'm glad that it's a band that actually put everything that is the greatest on the greatest hits album and some artists might forget one or two that are really good and not put it on. I think they've hit every single one they could. So kudos to them. Great album and that's why it gets this spot on my list. Coming in at number five, they could have honestly went up a little bit higher but at the end of the day I'm judging my uh, CDs, the CDs that I own as a whole, and it's still number five on the list, and that's Linkin Park Hybrid Theory. 
As you guys know, I'm a huge Linkin Park fan. This is one of their first uh, big studio albums. I know they came up with uh, one or two before on their own before they really got signed to uh, anything. But it has songs on it like Paper Cut, One Step Closer, Crawling, which in my opinion is one of my favorite songs by the band in the entirety. But uh, in the end is probably one of the top known songs by them that generations on generations have heard or and or know the uh, lyrics to. Honestly, one of my favorite albums. I have a lot of Linkin Park. I still think I'm missing three from my collection. As you guys know, I like to collect. But it gets number five on the list because of how meaningful of an uh, album it is for me. And it's one of the band's first albums. So it could have been moved up on the list. But what I have to come is probably the best of the best. At least in my opinion. Coming in at number four. They've already been on this list once. This is their 2015 album, 21 Pilots, Blurry Face. Front and back view. Honestly, 21 Pilots is one of those bands that I wish, I'm really wishing they make another album. Hopefully soon, because I can't wait to purchase it and listen to it. And I know it's probably in the works. But this album, there's so many songs on it that I just love. You got The Judge, which isn't one of their top songs, but in my opinion, it is a really great song. You got Stressed Out, which whenever the album first came out, it was played on the radio pretty much nonstop and people got bored of it right away. I didn't. I think it's a great song, great meaning behind it. Ride, Fairly Local, Lane Boy, uh, Doubt, and many, many more. So that's why it gets number four on my top 10 CDs that I own. And it is my favorite 21 Pilots CD, so of course it had to be higher than Vessel. But at the end of the day, uh, 21 Pilots themselves is a great band. More of an alternative style. A little bit of pop, a little bit of uh, electro in it, but still love them, love the sounds, and love their music. And now we are getting into the top three on my list. This is where people are going to have probably a different opinion than me. But at the end of the day, this is my video. These are my opinions on the top 10 CDs that I own. So that's why I had to put a Canadian artist in the top three because his album is spot on. This is his 20, I believe, 16 album, Classified Grateful. Honestly, it's helped me a lot after it came out. I was going through some stuff and it helped me a lot um, mentally, physically. The album, the reason it's so high on this list too, a few of the others could have likely passed it. This whole album, every song on it is spot on. And whenever I was judging all these uh, albums and trying to pick the best 10 out of my list, that's why it got so high because of how thought out, dedicated he is to the album. That uh, every, every, every song on it worked perfectly with what he was going for. And you even have a feature on it, which is Snoop Dogg, which was awesome in on its own. You have songs like Video Games, which is a classical, uh, I, I don't know what you'd call it. It's like, um, I rock with it. I think it's amazing. Great, great song. It's like a throwback to your childhood. So a lot of uh, old retro video game sounds he incorporated into it. And you also have uh, Beautiful Escape. Filthy, No Pressure, Work Away, which whenever there's the wildfires, uh, wildfires in um, Alberta, he used that song. Any profits that that song, Work Away, made, he donated to the relief uh, funds, which I thought for an artist that's not a top artist to donate profit from a song to something like a cause like that, I thought it was amazing. So... Classified, you get number three on my list for your uh, album. I hope to see a new one soon, hopefully soon. But that's why you get number three on my list. Coming in at number two on my top ten CDs that I own, Eminem, Curtain Call, The Hits. One of, of course, my favorite albums from Eminem. As you guys know, he is one of my top artists. That's why he's in number two um, as well. But this is one of the first albums that I owned. I know I own everything in uh, Eminem's collection, some of his early stuffs and all of his newer stuff. I'm missing one CD, which is Infinite, his first album he uh, released. 
But this album here, the reason I chose it to be number two and be the top Eminem CD that I own, not only is it the first CD that I've owned, but every song on it is amazing. There's no, uh, there's no song on here, at least from in my opinion, that is terrible. I know Fack, which is the second song on it. Everybody has their own opinions and they hate it. I thought listening to it, it was hilarious. It's not my favorite song. I've never listened to it since I owned the album back in my early days whenever I was young and naive. But you got Just Lose It, Soldiers, When I'm Gone, The Real Slim Shady, Lose Yourself, Mockingbird, Mockingbird Stan. I think this might be the first appearance of Stan, When I'm Gone, Likes Toy Soldiers. So you got, in my opinion, I've... I've classify this as his greatest hits album because in my opinion I thought when it said the hits I always thought it said greatest hits so I thought oh that's hilarious he put a greatest hits album before he really finished his career but Eminem gets the second on my list for this CD great CD if you haven't purchased it if you haven't heard it which most people have heard at least a song off it it's a great addition to any rap collection CD collection or anything along those lines Number one on my list, the reason I chose number one for this spot is because in my opinion it deserves number one for not only the album of what the whole album itself is, but how much work the band put into the song and I enjoy the song and unfortunately, uh, let me just show it first, it is Linkin Park, One More Light. My favorite Linkin Park album, I know it came out 2017 around... March. Uh, unfortunately, over the summer, I can't remember if it was June or July, Chester Bennington, which is one of the lead singers of Linkin Park, uh, committed suicide. This on its own deserves the first spot. As you guys know, I'm a huge Linkin Park fan. So that is the top 10 CDs that I own. This was an opinionated video, which I haven't really done one before. Let me know in the comments. Out of these 10 videos, where you would have categorized um, it if you owned these CDs, or what CDs you have that you would have placed in a different order. Let me know down in the comments that. Like this video if you did enjoy it. I will be making more videos like this, maybe some more top 10 videos for you guys, if that's what you guys want, if that's what you guys are interested in. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.